Good afternoon, folks, and I hope you're doing well. You know, I really don't need to go into it because everybody knows about it now, that tragic situation that occurred in Colorado with the, uh, the individual who, uh, up to this point, had shot and killed 10 people. Without question, this was going to turn into a big push by Biden to push his gun control legislation. At this point, he's just going to try to sign an executive order if legislation doesn't work. And we know Kamala is on the same page because that's what she said when she was running in the primaries is that she will give, if elected president, she will give Congress 100 days to give her what she wants. If that doesn't happen, she's going to sign an executive order. These people are tyrants. These people are authoritarians. And if they don't get what they want through the normal legal set of channels to do so, they'll go ahead, go around it, and take what they want anyway. No shit's given about you. So I want to say something really quick. Don't really need to talk about the incident because plenty of people are talking about that. I want to say something about Joe Biden. Joe Biden gave a little press conference in Colorado after the event occurred, and uh, keeping with the Democrat philosophy of not allow any tragedy to go to waste, they're jumping right on it. Why? Because it's an emotional situation, and doing what the Democrats do, they will go ahead and trigger people emotionally, because people typically on the left do not respond rationally. They react emotionally. That's what has created the low information voter base that the Democrats thrive on and that they need in order to move forward and get their votes. Joe Biden said, among many things, that he before was involved, or actually he takes full credit for it, he was the one who got assault weapons, I won't go into why that's a completely wrong, made up term, uh, I've done plenty of videos on that. But he was the one to enact an assault weapons ban. Yeah, this was the one back in 94 during Clinton's presidency. And Biden made very clear in his speech in Colorado, he said, which did a lot to reduce mass shootings. I want you to know something right now. Joe Biden is 100% lying to you. He's not misspeaking. He doesn't have his facts wrong because he was very involved in this. He is literally looking into your eyes as American people and lying to you. There were several independent studies done after the sunset of the bill. The bill, in fact, was not to have any sunset. It was to have continued on, been a one-and-done wipeout of AR-style platform and AK uh, firearms. So, after the study was done, the results came back and it showed that the difference that the ban made in shootings was a statistic zero. A statistic zero. It made no difference whatsoever. Whatsoever. The banning of assault weapons didn't change anything in regard to uh, shootings and the numbers and so forth. So it's all smoke and mirrors. It's all a lie. I've done other videos on that, so I won't go deep there. But 100% a lie, and Joe Biden is, in fact, lying to you. He doesn't care about telling you the truth. He doesn't respect you enough to tell you the truth. He doesn't honor you as an individual and as the person you are enough to tell you the truth. Much of his campaign was built on lies. I mean, he's the one who came right out and said, well, I decided to run for president because this man right here, Donald Trump, um, during the incident in Charlottesville, Virginia, said that there were good very fine people in the KKK. I've made very clear on that in another video that that is 100% not true. But again, low information voters. That's the Democrat voting base. If you voted for Biden, sorry. Sometimes you just have to call a spade a spade. So he's just lying to you. Know that the assault weapons ban of 94, a statistic zero in regard to any safety, any reduction in uh, mass shooting crimes. In fact, know this as well. If you look up mass shootings globally and you do a Google search for it, you will see that per capita, the United States, you know, they make it sound like it's so terrible here. The United States 
is country number 66 with the highest amount of mass shootings. 66. It doesn't even rank among the top per capita. Are there more shootings than others by the number? Yeah, because we have way more people here. But per capita, it's actually far, far less. So an important statistic to keep in mind. Um, of course, even when they talk about mass shootings, what we think of are these public mass shootings. That is a very small percentage of mass shootings. Oftentimes mass shootings have to do with inner city urban areas. Uh, that's a big one. Um, domestic type things. It has nothing to do. Oh, look, let me go back. The numbers with what we see that they really push in medium politics is a very, very small single digits in regard to mass shootings. So the entire thing is smoke and mirrors. The entire thing is created to get emotional reaction out of people and garner support. It's not created for safety. It's, n I'll, I'll tell you that right now. I'm going to say again, gun registration, gun bans, all these universal background checks, they will do zero to stop what is already illegal. Remember, some of these people that have gone in and purchased firearms, regardless of the background checks they say they want to put through, even through HR 27, Sheila Jackson Lee's, they would have passed it just fine. It would not have stopped a thing. Nothing. All of these gun control measures they do are band-aids that they are putting on to try to push a further agenda to get what they want and to gain their control and their power and to disarm people instead of actually getting to the heart of the measure. Because if you really wanted, if you really cared about stopping these tragic shootings, which we all do, even people in the gun community hate it, hate it. We hate seeing this. We hate seeing this kind of loss of life. But if you really wanted to get to the root of it, it wouldn't be gun control. You wouldn't be punishing the people who operate legally with firearms. The millions upon millions of people, there are more firearms in this country than there are humans. While failing to respect that the mass amount of shootings that happen in challenged urban city areas happen with guns that are stolen and purchased off the black market. I mean, look at FBI statistics and findings. They just come right out and tell you. It would do zero. It defies logic. The gun control measures only make sense to those who have no idea what they're really talking about. That's it. That's it. Those are the only people it makes sense to. So, yes, it's all putting band-aids on symptoms. It's not getting to the actual heart of the matter. And why don't they go to the actual heart of the matter? Because they don't really care. It's not really about safety. It's just couched in safety. That's it. So, just wanted to let you know that. Joe Biden, we came out and said that it is an absolute lie based on zero fact, no foundation of truth, no banning the assault weapons had nothing to do with reducing crime. Nothing. All right, y'all. If the video makes sense, if you connect with it, please like, share, subscribe. That's what helps grow the channel. That's also what helps us maybe reach other people. That's what we really want to do in this woke cult world. We need to reach as many people as we can rationally and logically. See if we can't get a few of them, a few of them who can be saved on our side. Save them. And remember, use wisdom, stand on integrity and principle, use discernment, and don't ever, ever let anybody ever control you by fear. All right, y'all.